I'm Dana Goyer, and this is my friend Don Smith, and we are going to give you some information about our fabulous quilting cruises. We have been doing quilting cruises now for over 10 years, which puts us at close to or maybe even over 100 cruises. So we feel like we've got it down, we know what quilters want, and we would love for you to join us sometime. So we're gonna go over some of the highlights that make our cruises very special. You will have your very own Bernina sewing machine assigned to you for the entire week. You will have a seat that is assigned to you for the entire week as well. So no, no need to pack up your things and move around. You'll have the same space. The teachers will rotate around to you. Mm -hmm. um, you will be able to come into the conference room where the sewing machines are set up anytime, 24 hours a day. It's open and available to you. Um, what else, Dana? Well, one thing that we do get asked a lot is, is are the classes going to take up all of my oh, shift yeah. time? Oh, no. We leave plenty of time for you to enjoy the shows, yeah. to go to a special dining venue if you don't want to join us at our regular dining time. Uh, we do have reserved dining seats, so it's always available to you. The entertainment on these fabulous ships with Royal Caribbean um, is something you don't want to miss. So if there is an ice skating show going on during class and you want to go to the ice skating show, you just go. We are very flexible. We just want you to have the trip of a lifetime. So how do you pick a cruise? Which one should I go mm -hmm. on? That's a question we get quite a bit, and it is a hard decision. There are a lot of great cruises out there, yes. and they're posted now for a year out. It's never too early to book either. That's tip number one today. Um, some people look at the teachers, the projects. Uh, some people take a look at the destinations, mm -hmm. what ports they'll be visiting, the length of the cruise. All of those are considerations that you might be thinking of, timing of the year, weather. Mm -hmm. um, so you can take a look on the website and see all the different cruises that are available and then start to make your selection. Right, and if you book one in advance, we also offer payment plans. So you can sign up now, pay so much a month, don't have that lot, big lump sum yeah. payment at the end. Yeah. The store is more than happy to set that up for you and we'll take care of all the details. Uh, make it super, super simple. The hard part is deciding <laughs> which one and don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. You can go to more than one. Yes, in fact, many, most of our cruises are set up even with back-to-back -back cruises. So if you would like to stay on for two, three, hey, let's go for four weeks, you are welcome to stay on. Just extend your vacation with us. We Very have a ball. Very good. <laughs> now, once you decide on which cruise you want to book, then you can register online mm -hmm. on the Stitch in Heaven website mm -hmm. under Travel, Quilting right. Cruises, or you can call the store. And what if I'm traveling with friends? Make sure you note that on the website when you make your reservation or advise the travel team when you call to book. That way we know to sit you together in the conference room mm -hmm. uh, for your sewing and your classes. And there is some prep work that you need to do. Uh, you need to decide on kits. Yes. Do you want to purchase our fabulous pre-cut kits? Those we will bring on to the ship for you and they will be at your sewing station the first day of class. Um, you also have the option of purchasing the pattern ahead of time and bringing your own fabric and cutting it out ahead of time. So you're also ready to sew on the ship. Our kits, are limited so don't wait to the last minute and decide you want a kit they may all be already gone so look at the projects and decide if you in fact want to purchase our fabulous pre-cut kits <laughs> what else Good. Dawn um, let's see let me look at my notes here uh, if you're um, 
also need to your travel documents. Oh yes. Yeah. For sure. um, I would say that you need to take a look at those as soon as you book. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're aware of what the requirements are and you have everything in order. Mm -hmm. Your passport needs to be valid for at least six months um, be, after, after your cruise. cruise. Yes. Yeah. So make sure that you have things in order. And every cruise requirement is a little different depending on what port you're going to, where you're departing out of. Mm -hmm etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So uh, make sure you check that out. And, and there's also travel insurance that is available. Yeah. If that is something that you want, then please sign up for travel insurance and the store can give you more information about, you know, exactly what it includes and the cost of it and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But consider that if that's, it's, it is an option. Yeah. You don't have to buy it. And along with those travel <clears throat> documents, you can go right on the Royal Caribbean website and see what the latest safety and health protocols are. Mm -hmm. So another uh, important thing that you need to check as soon as you decide you're ready to book or book and then follow up immediately. Yes, you will be given a reservation number from Stitch in Heaven whenever you book the cruise and that will allow you to set up an account with Royal Caribbean and then you'll have all kinds of fun looking at what's available on the ship, if you want to purchase an internet package or a drink package or specialty dining reservations, all of that's available on the website. So get that reservation number and then just enjoy. It'll, it also has a daily countdown to how many days are left before your cruise. So that's an important point too. Make sure you receive that email with the confirmation number. Mm -hmm. um, and if you did not, you need to call the store immediately. Important information will mm -hmm. be emailed to you um, throughout the, the booking period prior to the cruise. So it's very important that you keep up uh, with that information that's sent out. And if you're a frequent cruiser with us, you have already set up an account. Yeah. So that reservation number will just add it to your list of cruises. We yeah. have people that maybe cruise with us three, four, even more times a year. So they, they're the pros and they're more than happy to help you out also. So another very important thing that comes in that initial email is the Facebook link. Very important. So we encourage you, even for those of you that are not big <laughs> Facebook uh, people, um, to join that group. Mm -hmm. Click on that link, request to join the group, and then that's where you'll start to meet the people that you'll be cruising with. People are asking questions. You'll get lots of answers, um, mm -hmm. you know, to questions you might have. Mm -hmm. But it's the first start to making new friends. Absolutely. And if you are traveling as a single person, don't be afraid. To, I mean, that doesn't keep you off of our cruises. Oh, no. We have many people that want to sign up and they say, but I don't have anybody to go with. They will, the store will match you with another cruiser that also does not have uh, someone to travel with. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's, they will allow you to contact each other ahead of time. So you kind of know personalities and, you know, things that you maybe want to discuss before you spend a week or more with the person. But it is, we have matched people together that now are lifelong friends and they cruise constantly with us and it's just it's been a blessing for yeah. everybody on board so don't let that keep you from signing up right <clears throat> um the other important thing is about 45 days prior mm -hmm. to departure uh, on your cruise you will be able to check in with Royal Caribbean and be assigned your boarding time. So this is very important. I personally mark my calendar so that I can be one of the first ones on there to get my boarding time. I like to board early. Um, but make sure you make note and you have set up that account and then you can do your check-in to get right. your boarding time. That's right. important. It's very important. Uh, the other thing that we strongly recommend, now you're ready to go for your cruise. You are so excited. 
It is best if you plan to arrive at the port city the day before your cruise leaves. We have seen instances where flights are delayed, weather is bad, airports are shut down. Um, it's just don't, don't risk it. What's, you know, I know it's added expense, but it's one hotel night not to risk not getting on the ship. So please do arrive at your port city the night before the cruise. It definitely removes some stress mm -hmm. and will make your cruise vacation just that much better. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah without a doubt. Dana, yeah. when we were talking about mm -hmm. the uh, account that mm -hmm. we were setting up with mm -hmm. Royal Caribbean, mm -hmm. um, the other thing that I want to just mention or recommend is reserving your shore excursions oh, yes. early. Yes. If you're interested in booking those, kind of like I said about booking a cruise, mm -hmm. never too early, mm -hmm. book that shore excursion. We do see that mm -hmm. those tend to sell, sell out quickly yes. on these cruises, especially uh, first time cruisers to that particular destination and you really have your heart set on it, mm -hmm. book it early. Absolutely. And you can do that uh, through your account uh, once you've gotten that set up and you have your reservation number, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So book that early. One thing that we have uh, built over the years with our relationship with Royal Caribbean is we are allowed to bring on prohibited items. Mm. But there is a very special way that you pack your prohibited items. And that will be given to you through emails and through the Facebook page. <clears throat> we will send out even photographs of what it looks like on how to pack them in a baggie. But this basically involves your scissors, your rotary cutter, your rotary cutter blades, and your small travel iron. The small travel iron that we recommend, uh, it does say a maximum wattage of 420. Uh, those are okay. Some of our paperwork might say 400, but you know those little palm irons, uh, they, they are okay to bring. And you will get a supply list and it will have a link to all of the tools that you might be needing on the cruise. Some of these you'll have at home already. Others you need to make sure you purchase ahead of time because we do not carry store supplies mm -hmm. on our cruises anymore. Yeah. So make sure that you've looked over that supply list that will be sent to you. And if by some strange instance you are not getting emails from the store, call the store immediately ask for the travel department because i promise you yeah we get more um comments on wow you all send out a lot of emails <laughs> than we do with we didn't you know yeah. you, there was no communication yeah <clears throat> but that facebook group is you know yeah. one way to do it and then emails is another yeah without a doubt yeah and then uh you'll be all set for your cruise you'll be able to easily pass through security with those prohibited items if you right. follow. Again, on the Facebook page, we actually show you mm -hmm. uh, what that package should look like. Mm -hmm. So good tips there, all the time are posted. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll be able to, to join our cruise and stress-free, begin and a delightful vacation. Absolutely, and I know we've taken probably enough of your time, <laughs> but Don and I sure hope to see you on a Stitch in Heaven Royal Caribbean cruise in the near future. Okay. So if we haven't answered all your questions, call the store, make sure you get your questions answered, and we hope to see you on the ship soon. Bye. See you soon.